All right, so I'll start. Uh, welcome again, guys, to Read to Me TT's Bedtime Series. My name is Dr. Tai, as most of you know me. Um, for the kids listening, you can call me Auntie Tai. Um, I'm a doctor as well as a carnival costume designer. And um, I'm very excited for the story we're going to be reading called The Moko Jambi because it's all about carnival and culture. And I'm really excited for you all to learn a little bit about that. Great. And Woodruff, also known as Tony Paul, a musician, saxophone. I think a little bit, not a lot. Um, I love music and I've also been around lots because I'm a musician. Carnival is the is 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 like so really happy to be here to read to all your get it. All right, you're just breaking up a little bit still. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. So I know we've been home a long time now. A lot of you kids may be bored, fed up, missing your best friend from school. But I just want to remind you all that you're doing a great job by staying home and making sure you maintain all the hygiene protocol. I know everybody at home washing their hands using their hand sanitizer and practicing social distancing so that we could flatten the curve. So you're all heroes. So let's... Good job, guys. All right. So all right. Tony, tell us about the story. Yeah, so tonight we read it a Moko Jambi by Paul Palma Adiso created by Krista Ann Malloy by the Caribbean League. So, you all know what Moko Jambi is, right? Oh. It's those, <laughs> those guys that you see for carnival, they do all the tricks, things. That's a part of the Caribbean culture, actually, because that and today go down Caribbean. So, yeah, we can start. Alright, Uncle Tony, you start it off. Yeah, start, start, start. <laughs> so, okay, me first? Alright. Yeah. Last night, just after Mommy turned off the lights and said, sleep tight, I saw a Moko Jombi standing by my window. I was about to scream out when he put his finger to his lips. I zip my mouth and open my eyes wide. I looked to see if Bako, my twin sister, saw him too. But she had fallen asleep even before mommy to the light. I blinked and I looked at the window. Now there were two Boko Jambis. They folded their hands together and leaned their heads on their hands. Look like one perfect shell. Two. We will protect you. And I, just like that, they swallowed it. I closed my eyes tight and soon I was asleep. I woke up to daddy sitting on my bed, shaking me gently. It's time to get up and get ready for work. He said, leaning close to my ear. Daddy, I said, still in bed. Do Moko zombies ever visit you at night? Uh, can't say they have. They're helping me out of bed. But daddy, not now, but time for school. When you see him this week. When daddy left the room, I was. I saw two Moko Jambis at our window. No, you didn't. Sticking out at a bathroom ahead of me. I stuck out my tongue back at her and went to look out the window. As far as I could see, there were no Moko Jambis. 
just the chickens and the roosters. I looked to the left, but I saw just the mango and the plum trees full of fruits. Mm. I looked to the right, but I saw just Tiger, our boxer, leashed, sitting on his hind legs beside his kennel. I peered further, and I saw an iguana, head raised, listening, but not moving. I looked all around, but all I saw was the sky and the day. And no more could zombies. At breakfast, I asked, can I get into my no, Bami Dele. Why do you ask? Rubbing my back. I, well, for two Coco Jumbies, just after you turn around, go behind you. Really? What did they do? To go to sleep, and that day, you are really lucky to have your very good protecting you and your sister. So we are good. Mrs. Charles is my teacher and she knows everything. So I asked her, Mrs. Charles, do Moko Jumbies ever stand by your window at night? Not that I know of, Bamidile, but it's their job to protect us and guard our community. Now take out your book so we can begin our reading for the morning. At lunchtime, I told my best friend that two Moko Jumbies were standing at my Were you scared? Before I could reply, he said, Sometimes when I see Moko Jumpies at or the art fair, this kid was so, so, so tall. He bit into his jaw. I know, I said, and the that cover their faces, dance and prance around skyscrapers. And they don't have feet like us, I shouted. Mm -hmm. And they wear hats and gloves, he squealed. And they are spirits. We both screamed, ah, and ran off. Saturday, when Baco and I went to visit our brother, he was standing by a tree drinking. Grandpa, as he gave Baco and a coconut jelly. Will the mocha jambies hurt me? No, sir, said Grandpa. Then he leaned across the tree and smiled. A far away look in his eye. Mocha jambies are here to protect us and keep us safe. They are the good spirits of our family. As long as mocha we will continue and prosper as people. I looked to see what Grandpa was staring at. And I saw Moko Jumbies dancing all over his land. Between the coconut trees, among the banana trees, even under the flamboyant tree, in the middle of the lawn. I felt happy seeing the Moko Jumbies. I called Tobacco and she, Grandpa and I, joined the Moko Jumbies and danced all over Grandpa's yard. The end. Yes. Tom, you ever seen Moko Jumbies? You, well, you, you see what during Carnival? Yes. I see them and I'm always like, hmm, they are brave. But I've never seen any by my window. <laughs> yeah, um, 
Yeah, that's, that's different. It's a little different. Um, <laughs> So, as I was saying earlier, you know, uh, a part of our and we see them groups that train even young how to be Moko Jambis, work on those stilts. A very, very, well, it requires a lot of things to do. So, if you want to be Moko Jambis, I'm sure their mommy and daddy, the fact where you can go. I know who is one of them. But um, there's some information Porter gives about the Jambis as a plan to the country then cross. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So Moko Jambis are masked still dancers who can be seen at most parades, fairs, and carnivals in and around St. Croix as well as St. Thomas and St. John, and the other two islands that compromise the U.S. Virgin Islands. They are cultural icons. That's not true. <laughs> two early pioneers of this tradition based in St. Thomas are John McCavity and Hugo Moulinier. Willard John, educator and cultural ambassador, is credited for preserving the tradition in St. Croix. As the director of Guardians of Culture, Moko Jambis, Willa John has trained hundreds of boys and girls in the sacred tradition, very similar to what's done here. Mm -hmm. John, this is not just an art form, but rather a connection with our ancestors, which allows us to stay connected to our African culture. And that's exactly what Moko Jambis represents in our carnival as well. Yes. It's, it's, it's... Yeah. So it has its roots in West African tradition and its practice on almost all Caribbean islands with that culture. A Jambi or a spirit or ghost, right? The Moko Jambis are believed to be good spirits of our ancestors who watch over us and protect us. So that's like your great-grandpa and your great-great-great-grandma watching over you. Great. <laughs> In the Virgin Islands tradition, Moko Jambis are never allowed to show their face, which is something different to what we would see here in Trinidad. Their identity is to be kept secret so that they can move about undetected. All right, so that was a little bit of information. These guys in So I had fun. It was really, really lovely. Same with you. <sighs> I especially enjoyed learning about this. Very For sure. Yeah. But sadly, I it's bedtime. I hope everyone is in their favorite pajamas and ready to go cuddle up in bed. I know I am. Oh, he said that. This <laughs> one. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. This was so much fun. And I really want to thank uh, Read to Me TC for doing this initiative and for asking us to do this, right? Hope you all had fun with this story as much as we did. Oh. But, folks, before we go, it's really important that us, you listen, we come in, get out of the whole you know, we're starting to open back. It is still important. Superheroes, right? So this is what we do to help. Wash your hands. Keep your hands out of your mouth. Yes. Yeah. Mommy, daddy, grandpa, everybody. So wear them out. If they're going out. Yeah. But if they're going out, make sure you have And you can make a game out of Right? So say happy birthday. Wash your hands. You know, say it. 
then 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 somebody wash it. You know, wash hands with soap and water. Right? Yes, and we can do this. Why? Because we are in this together, guys. So keep up the great work, little superheroes. And look out tomorrow for a brand new story. There's two. Evening, how are we? It was so much fun. All right, sweet dreams. Bye.